So I posted a video last month talking about the best binds for controller players on non claw slash non paddle, and it got at least 38,000 views by the time I'm making this video. It's the second most viewed video on my channel, so I thought maybe I should make another one. The timing is actually pretty good since four days ago I actually posted the best binds for Fortnite players who do claw or who use claw on their controllers. And since the majority of the Fortnite controller community is on non claw slash non paddle, maybe I'll reach out to a bigger audience and hopefully help out more people. The most interesting part about making non claw slash non paddle binds is that you have to get creative, which means you have to sacrifice certain buttons, certain type of actions for better placements. And in that scenario, it gets really fun trying to make a really, really good set of binds. Personally, I don't recommend non claw slash non paddle if you want to get far in this game. Obviously, you still can, but it's definitely going to slow you down a little bit in comparison to, let's say, you're doing your standard claw or you're going for four paddles. It's definitely going to be a bit of a disadvantage for non claw slash non paddle players. So, if you want my personal take on it, try to learn claw. It's not that hard. You can also search also on the internet how to do right hand claw it's pretty simple but if you're sticking to non claw slash non paddle then this video is for you before we go on to the binds make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you're notified of videos just like this one leave a like too because honestly i'm enjoying the amount of feedback i'm getting from you guys and the more you guys like the video the more it helps the channel growth and it also helps, motivates me to make these type of videos because right now that's what i'm lacking starting off with the xbox controller because the xbox controller is arguably the more complicated one of the two we're gonna have our left stick on edit because left stick edit is universal and it's the most accessible for most people especially non claw slash on paddle you definitely would want left stick edit then we're gonna go to right stick jump because right stick jump it means you don't have to let go of your thumbstick or the right thumbstick for jumping then we're gonna put our crouching and sliding make sure you both of those are on the same bind on a and then we're gonna have switch mode on b because i mean that's pretty standard you, it's not gonna take you very long to adjust to it toggle pickaxe on y and then reloading slash interacting on x these are pretty standard you know default bind so it's not that terrible but it's also pretty good especially since left stick edit and right stick jump are pretty good for non claw slash non paddle players now you might be wondering what the sprint bind should be then it should be on the top part of your d-pad why does it need to be in the top part of your d-pad well it's because it's the closest to your thumbstick or your left thumbstick make sure you have toggle sprint enabled because if you don't have toggle sprint enabled then this is not going to work out for you because the science behind it is you're only going to tap it for a split second and then you're going to move around with your left joystick after tapping it for a split second which means you're not going to lose your momentum when trying to tap it which means you're not going to worry about any mess ups when you're trying to auto sprint or just regular sprint for the building binds i recommend the standard builder pro because that's pretty standard for most people if you're not on standard builder pro then you're there's something wrong with you honestly i don't know why you're even watching this video for the editing controls, this is the first time I'm going to recommend RT Select and LT Confirm on the Xbox controller because the right trigger and the left trigger are probably one of the more accessible buttons on your controller, which means it's not going to be that hard for you to tap it, especially if you're on standard non claw slash non paddle. Now, I do recommend RB resetting because, it's, I mean, your fingers are probably going to be resting on the triggers as well as your bumpers so rb reset is pretty comfortable and i do recommend rt select and lt confirm with confirm edit on release although it's going to be really slow you're definitely going to be a little bit slower but not to the significant margin that most people would say if you don't want confirm edit on release then just try to put confirm on a different button so yeah that's pretty much it for the xbox controller it's pretty simple it's pretty standard it's pretty default to be honest and if you want to get the best possible binds with the least amount of time spent on actually getting to it that this one is for you. Moving on to the PlayStation controllers. So before I move on to the PlayStation controllers, I'm also gonna say that I'm gonna be putting the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller on the same category because it works pretty much the same and there's not gonna be any significant difference for both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller on this set of binds. So yeah, just wanted to put down some information if you're wondering. So starting off with the left stick, we're going to put sprint on that because obviously your thumb is already going to be resting on sprint. You're not going to be worried about any weird taps like you saw on the Xbox controller. So starting off with left stick sprint is pretty, pretty good. And then we're going to go to right stick jump, which is automatic for all non claw slash non paddle players, because obviously you don't want to move away from your right thumbstick. And then we're going to go for touchpad edit, which you tap on the top part of your controller. I'm going to show a little clip on screen right now so you can see how it looks like. 
And then we're gonna have circle switch mode, triangle toggle pickaxe, and square reloading slash interacting, which is the same principle as the Xbox controller. It's default, and it's not gonna take you very long to learn. So yeah, everything is pretty standard. You know, this is a pretty good set of binds, one that I recommend for all PlayStation controllers to learn, even non-cost slash non-paddle, if you're gonna get used to it. Once again, for the building section, you probably wouldn't want to touch any of these, especially if you're already on Builder Pro. If you're not, then you probably have paddles. I don't know why you're watching this video, so yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about the building part of these binds just because any changes won't really make a difference and possibly it's gonna sacrifice a little bit of your skill. So yeah, just don't touch any of these. For the editing controls, I'm gonna go back to my old principle or my old philosophy about R1 selecting and L1 confirming. Now the bumpers are a little bit faster than the triggers purely because the bumpers bottom out faster. It's literally a button in comparison to the triggers where it goes from bottom. Now if you do have trigger stoppers, then you probably shouldn't worry about this. But if you don't, then yeah definitely go r1 select l1 confirm arguably the best editing change you're ever gonna make obviously it's gonna take you a decent amount of time to learn it but trust me it's worthwhile and then obviously we're gonna put r2 and reset we can also do l2 and reset but really it doesn't matter the most important ones are r1 select and l1 confirm so yeah this is a pretty optimal set of binds i didn't go too much in detail to it purely because playstation 4 and playstation 5 controllers are the same or pretty much the same and obviously it's gonna take some time to learn this because the touchpad edit is pretty hard r1 selecting l1 confirming is pretty hard to learn but it trust me it's worth it if you're on non-class slash non-paddle now if you want to switch to claw then try to look for one of my videos it's really really good i promise you you're gonna get a good set of binds thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you did subscribe if you're not subscribed already turn on post notifications so you're notified of videos just like this one and yeah i managed to get some motivation left in me to post these types of videos and i'm honestly super excited for more so yeah obviously every view counts for me as motivation and as long as you guys are liking the video giving feedback on the comments subscribing sharing this to your friends i get to post more videos more often just because i get the motivation to do so so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye